All right, so right here we've got a transfer case off of a 1994 Jeep Wrangler, and we've kind of cut out some windows so we could provide information on the shifting of the mode and the range between four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive, and between high and low. So first we're going to go over the flow of power. So this is the input shaft of the transfer case, and the output shaft of the, tran or the transmission splines into this, and it goes directly through to the rear. And right now we're in two high, and you can see that because I can take hold of the front output shaft and spin it, and only the rear output shaft sp spins with the input shaft. So if you move in a little closer, you can see we've got two forks right here. This is the mode fork, and this is what selects between two high and four high, or two wheel drive and four wheel drive, I should say. And this is the range fork, and that selects between high and low, and that's only for four wheel drive. So if we wanted to engage four high, you can see that there's these, these uh, gear ring, the blocking ring, and it selects those, or the uh, dog teeth, I should say. And when you move this, this fork, it selects four high. And go through that one more time. So the shift mechanism, if we turn it, we've welded this bar on here so it makes it easier, but this is where your linkage inside the cabin will go, and that's, that's how you shift it. And if go we go over here. Go ahead and move the lever a few oh, yeah, times. Okay. Good. So if we move it over like this, if you look right in here, that's the guide that moves both of the forks up and down. So as we move through the gears, or for the positions, I should say, then you can see how that changes the fork's position. Probably zoom in. All right. So right in here, like I said, this is our range. So right now we're in too high again, and that's because this is fully flowing freely. So if we go into four high, you can see how all three will move with each other. They're all connected. And if we go into neutral, you'll see that this range selecting fork will move up just a little bit. So I'll show it one more time. And that provides a neutral. You can see because I can move the input shaft and none of the output shafts are moving. And Donovan has a planetary gear set over here that will explain that a little bit better. All right, as you can see, this is a planetary gear set. This is from the same vehicle. Now, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different teeth in here. This is the same shaft which is connected to the range selector fork. As it moves down or higher, it selects different uh, ranges. Down at the bottom is a direct drive, a one-to-one -one ratio for all high, two high and four high when it is engaged. In between them is neutral. When it's in between them, it can spin freely without anything else moving inside there. Now, as you can see, when I do spin the bottom, this is when it is in a high range, as it is a one to one ratio compared to the bottom as I spin it. As you can tell, this would be the low range, a gear reduction. Because it is a planetary gear set, this would be a low range as it is connected directly right like this. So if we come back in the transfer case, if you look right in here, this is the edge of the planetary. And the piece that it was riding on, which Don was just discussing, is attached to this range selecting fork. So as we go through, you can see how that fork moves. So this is too high. And that doesn't change between two high and four high. You'll see that the range doesn't change at all. It stays as a one, one connection. When we go into neutral, however, it moves up a little, just how Donovan explained, where it's in, in between those two gears. And then if we go into four low, then you'll see how it moves up all the way, which engages the low range. So I can do that one more time. So again, this is two high, this is four high, this is neutral, and then one more provides the low range for four low. And you can see a little bit of those teeth that are on that piece right there. Let's go ahead and show the ring gear. All right. So the ring gear, you can see in four low, the carrier tra travels around that. Are we in low range still? Yeah, it's in low range. So let's watch the ratio. Let's count ratios. All right. So we'll match these up real quick. So let's go straight up. Okay. All right. So we've got, we'll move that towards the camera. Actually, it's 
Oh, that's right. No. A little bit more this way. Okay. All right. So here's where the starting point is going to be on the input shaft. And here's where the starting point is going to be on the output shaft towards the rear axle. So as we move this around, that's one revolution for the input shaft. two revolutions for the input shaft. And as we come around towards the third revolution of the input shaft, and you'll see that one, it has weighed one full revolution on the uh, output shaft. So it's about... And the two, mark is down here. Yeah. So it's about a 2.73 ratio, two, 2 and 3 fourths, times input to the output, which is gear reduction. Back to high. So if we go back to high, you can see that only the range moves, if we're going back to four high, only the range moves. And that provides a one to one ratio. So for every one time that the input shaft spins, the output shaft spin will spin one time as well. And it's back. And as well time. as the front output shaft. When it's in four when drive. it's in four high. Then we move to neutral again. Or I guess neutral's here. If we're going to put in neutral, let's line it back up with this. And this spins freely. And then do the two high. And then two high. Will be between this, this, this output shaft and this input shaft, it will be the same as if it was in four wheel drive. Yeah, which is a one to one ratio. Too high. Yeah. But and you can see that because high. the front output shaft spins freely. Okay, we'll go back to four high and we'll conclude. All right. So in four high, once again, all three are connected. And the input shaft turns both the front output shaft and the rear output shaft, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And that's our transfer case.